Hey friends, welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. This is Dr. Raman and today's topic is snake bite and management. So before we go into the topic proper, uh, just remember one thing, snake bites are not always venomous. There are only four common and big four snakes in India which are mostly toxic to us. These snakes uh, split voice, uh, venomous poisons, when they bite will get mostly either a hematological manifestation or a neurological manifestation in only one case we'll get a mixed response so we'll see what are the big four snakes in India which cause the 90 percentage of the mortality in India both North India and South India this spectacled cobra in Tamil it is called as Nallapambu common crates Russell viper and Saskale viper these two vipers and common co spectacled cobra and common crate these four are called as the big four snakes so we just look into the clinical features and the treatment and uh, will classify accordingly this crate and cobra they are all, they they both comes under the class of neurotoxic that is ptosis neurotoxic it affects the neural system and russell viper and saskale viper they are mostly hemotoxic and they they affect hematological system mostly only exception here is Russell Viper which will cause both hematological and neurological manifestation but it always mostly presents as hematological manifestation. So if you see into the local pain and tissue damage after the snake bite the cobra causes most vulnerable and most excruciating pain that will cause tissue necrosis also. So uh, in case of local pain and tissue damage cobra tops the list and also it is seen in the saw scaled viper ptosis that that's what i call uh, the neurological sign this is more common in case of cobra and crate that's why we classify them under neurotoxic venoms and in case of russell viper that is also seen hematological abnormality that they are completely absent in crate in case of crate and cobras in case of viper vipers they are seen that's why we classify them as hemotoxic Renal problems, it's only caused by Russell Viper. That is significantly important data. We'll come back to Russell Viper again. Response to neostigmine, the neurological manifestations of cobra is easily reversed by neostigmine and Russell Viper also it is reversed. Response to ASV, if you ask me a wonder drug which is discovered by humans, I'll go for ASV because it works. If you ask it to work, it will work. The response to this had a huge impact in the mortality of snake bites so the one only take home message is just look at the local pain and tissue damage in case of russell viper russell viper is a silent killer we have no idea whether the snake bite the person or not when when if you discuss the history there won't be any snake bite history because the person won't be getting any pain it will just come there bite like a mosquito and then it will run away even the mosquito causes pain, Russell Viper won't. But look at the, all the manifestation. It can cause both hematological and neurological manifestation. And uh, only life-saving measure is ASV. In the next video, we'll look at ASV. Thank you. Hello friends, welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. This is Dr. Ramanan. And as we discussed earlier, for uh, the big four snake bites, we have a polyvalent anti-snake venom. And we'll let's see about the story of this anti-snake venom. First of all, uh, there is a pride of Tamil Nadu. Uh, we have uh, this irular community people. These people are responsible for saving uh, lakhs of lives because these people, uh, they, are, uh, they catch the snakes by uh, keeping their lives at stake. They catch the snake and extract the venom. And from there, they, those people are doing it uh, in Kanjiburam uh, at Chennai. From there, all the venom which is extracted from by, by those people will be supplied to pharmaceutical companies and then they will derive this anti-snake venom. Uh, we are actually proud of this thing. We have to uh, thank those people to, for doing that thing. So uh, coming back to the treatment, uh, how to give this anti-snake venom which is a very wonderful drug. India we have anti-snake venom which will act against the big four snakes venom. Uh, we already know the hemotoxic and uh, neurotoxic snake venoms this anti snake venom is common for all of them they have the anti snake venom for all these four types of snakes venom so let's see the protocol how to administer this anti snake venom first of all you have to start a iv normal saline with white boar needle then we have to start 
with one vial of ASV in one print of NS and start 10 to 15 drops per minute for 15 minutes and watch for reactions because this anti snake venom is equine derived and there are chances of uh, getting anaphylaxis it's actually a high chances of getting anaphylaxis that's why we are doing uh, a very slow IV dripping then if you see uh, any signs of anaphylactic shock that's cold and clammy skin rapid pulse dyspnea stop the ASV drip temporarily and treat the shock with IV hydrocortisone 100 mg per IV or uh, injection dexamethasone 8 mg IV or phenylephrine malate 2 ml IV and then what is the drug of choice for anaphylaxis this injection adrenaline 1 is to 1000 dilutions 0.5 ml IM if you want to give deriflin you can give the prop adrenaline 1 is to 1000 dilution 0.5 ml direct IM that is a drug of choice for anaphylaxis in case of pediatric age group we will be using 1 is to 10,000 dilutions 0.01 ml per kg for pediatric age group so if a 10 kg child is there we have to give 0 0.1 m 1 ml 1 is to 10,000 dilution is you have to take this 1 is to 1000 uh, adrenaline in a 10 ml syringe and then you have to dilute it with 10 ml of fluids so in, for uh, uh, if you if you want to alter the dose in anti snake venom that is a misconception the venom dose is 8 vials per ns bottle uh, the only the problem here is we have to change the fluid values according to the weight of the patient then if the patient recover from the anaphylaxis or the patient is not going to have signs many patients are not going to have any uh, anaphylactic we have to continue all the seven vials which we left because we had given only one vial at the beginning and then we you, you can inject the, all the seven vials in the fluid which you are giving you have to just continue uh, monitoring the vital signs for five minute interval for the first 30 minutes and then at 15 minutes for the next two hours you have to complete the dosage in two hours stabilize the patient and then refer the patient to the higher institution remember aspirin should not be used and the fluids will do fluids for pediatric age group for the first 10 kg you have to give 40 ml per kg and then for uh, next uh, 10 kgs that is some from 11 to 20 you will add 40 ml plus 2 ml per kg per hour that is 20 ml and then for 21 kg and above we will be doing 60 ml plus 2 ml per kg per hour this is a this is a, this is how you calculate the fluid for the pediatric age group and then we will administer the anti snake venom that is the 8 vials first vial is for uh, uh, test dose whether the patient is having anaphylaxis or not and then the rest 7 vials will be giving in 2 hours of fluid for 8 kg child we will be doing 4 ml per kg per hour so 64 ml will, will be there and in 64 to 75 ml you will be adding the anti snake and venom and you will give that's all in case of anaphylactic shock only changes you have to alter the adrenaline uh, cord dosage that is 0 0.01 ml per kg in pediatric age group and 0 0.5 ml direct IM 1 is to 1000 dilutions in adult age group. Thank you. Thank you. This is how you administer ASV.